Hi, I'm Fame Kenover of Langwin.com, and this is Mandarin Chinese. Today we'll be using what you learned about dates to discuss when and also where someone was born. Last time we looked at some uses of the shi de construction. This construction may shift the center of interest not only to when or how something happened, but also to where something happened. Here's the verb to be born. Shang. 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 Listen for to be born Shang. in the exchange. Where were you born, Mrs. Anderson? Anderson Furan. Anderson Furen, I was born in Texas. Notice that shi comes before the place phrases in the question and in the answer, identifying them as the center of interest. Here's the exchange live. Anderson Furen, Try translating it. Anderson Furen, Where were you born, Mrs. Anderson? I was born in Texas. The conversation continues live. Try translating it. Was your daughter born in Texas too? No, she was born in California. You can already talk about yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Now let's learn how to talk days of the week. In the following exchange, Mrs. Anderson is talking to a Chinese friend in Guangzhou. She and her husband are stopping over on their way to Beijing. Listen. Did you arrive on Thursday? No, we arrived on Friday. Here's the exchange live. To ask what day of the week, you put the bound word G, how many, at the end of the word for week. Listen to what day of the week? Now listen as the conversation continues. What day of the week are you leaving? We're leaving on Sunday. Here's the exchange live. Listen to this live conversation. Try translating it. When did you arrive? We arrived Friday. When are you leaving? We're leaving Sunday. Now, let's turn to another type of time expression, dates. Listen to Mrs. Anderson give her year of birth. What year were you born? 
你是哪年生的 ？I was born in 1939. 我是一九三九年生的。我是一九三九年生的。Here's the expression: What year? Really, which year? 哪年？哪年？哪年 ？You've already had the bound word. 哪年？ Means year. Here's how you say 1939. Literally, one nine three nine year. 一九三九年。一九三九年。一九三九年。Remember that in a sequence of digits, the numbers 一、one、七、seven, and 八、eight keep their basic high tones. Here's the exchange live. 你是哪年生的？我是一九三九年生的。Try translating it. 你是哪年生的 ？What year were you born? 我是一九三九年生的。I was born in 1939. Here's a similar exchange live. 你是哪年生的？我是一九五二年生的。Notice that in giving the year, the word you use for two is are. Try translating it. 你是哪年生的 ？What year were you born? 我是一九五二年生的。I was born in 1952. Here's the expression: What month? 几月？几月？几月 ？Since the months are numbered, the bound word 几 how many is an appropriate question form here, just as it was in 星期几 what day of the week. But 几 in 几月 of course can be replaced with a number up to twelve. The conversation might continue like this. What month were you born? 你是几月生的？你是几月生的 ？I was born in July. 我是七月生的。我是七月生的。Here's the exchange live. 你是几月生的？我是七月生的。Here's the expression "what day," in the sense of "what day of the month." 几号？几号？几号 ？The day of the month is expressed by a number followed by the bound word 号 which you'll remember is also used in giving addresses. Notice that in this case, the 几 of 几号 may be replaced by a number as high as 31. 三十一号 The conversation might continue like this. Listen, what day of the month were you born? 你是几号生的？你是几号生的 ？I was born on the fourth. 我是四号生的。我是四号生的。Here's the exchange live. 你是几号生的？我是四号生的。Of course, you may be asked for the month and the day of the month together. Listen as Mrs. Anderson gives the information again live. 你是几月几号生的？我是七月四号生的。Try translating it. 你是几月几号生的 ？What is your month and day of birth? 我是七月四号生的。I was born on July fourth. Here's a live conversation reviewing dates. Listen. 你朋友是什么时候到的？他是一月三十号到的。他什么时候走？他九月十五号走。请问九月十五号是星期几？是星期六。Try translating it. 你朋友是什么时候到的 ？When did your friend arrive? 
他是一月三十号到的。He arrived on January thirtieth. 他什么时候走 ？When's he leaving? 他九月十五号走。He's leaving on September fifteenth. 请问，九月十五号是星期几？ May、I、ask what day of the week is September fifteenth? 是星期六 It's Saturday. 好，我们下课吧 Remember to head over to Langwin.com to do the exercises. That's Langwin, as in Langwin the Penguin. Thanks for watching. I want to thank all of our supporters who have helped to make these courses possible. We want to keep making free courses for you. And with your help, we can do that. So, be sure to head over to our Patreon page, where, in exchange for as little as a dollar, you'll get bonus stuff. Until next time, stay cool.